everyone, Liliana from Vanilla and Canela here. Welcome back to my channel. So you've just followed me around as I made the beds and tidied up the upstairs. Yeah, I'm gonna video my morning for you just until after lunch so then I can edit this video and publish it for you today. So you're gonna see it, how my morning was this afternoon kind of thing, I hope that is making sense. Anyway, I wanted to share with you some of the new things I've got for home decor in the house So while I'm upstairs, so let me show you. If you follow me on Instagram, you might have already seen this, but you guys remember this awkward space where we keep plants. This is the airing cupboard. And yeah, I've added, Alex made this. Can you guess what it is? It's like a butterfly. Um, yeah, so the new things are these two pictures that I picked up, picked up for two pounds for both of them. I really wanted to do this kind of floral prints, so I was really pleased. Now I just need to find some more for this wall, but it will come with time. So those, what, those are ones of my favourite things that I've picked up recently. I think they are so, so adorable. They have that botanical kind of print and then the other thing I picked up on the same day from a charity shop was this pot hanger this macrame hanger I picked it up we were still in the bag brand new it cost me five pounds so I just hang it in here so in that corner there that is just a print that I've had I'm still looking for a round mirror to go above my dressing table but for now that stays like that I think that is it in this room you guys saw that in my five dollar goodwill challenge in Alex's room the only thing oh there's this that you probably saw this in my last haul I think it's really cute and I also got this from the works I think it was part of a haul as well I've just popped it there and then Alex also has this Moonlight, let me get it set up. Okay, so it is this. Let me see. You can pick it up, it's not easy with um, one hand, but it has a charging point there and it comes with this stand. Alex is so in love with this and it comes with a remote. All right, so you put it on. There you go. It looks like the moon, right? But you can also do fun colors. You know just by pressing but Alex's favorite is actually the white and there's like an intensity of the light that you can change and you can do like flash strobe fade smooth all of that all of that different stuff you know and you can get it to change all around so he's really in love with that that was sent to me by a company and they have given me a code to give you guys if you are interested it's on amazon i will link it all for you below in the description box i mean the link and the code for you so yeah it's cute right new downstairs not much but let me show you something you guys saw my fireplace makeover I'm still loving it I've already changed the way it looks I don't know if you remember this used to be at the top I put back those at the top and just changed a few bits I'm happy with how it looks now to be honest but as you know it will not stay like that for long let me try and find give you a little let me see so that is how it looks now you guys just saw me use this little vacuum on the sofa uh, uh, okay um, let me empty that out okay that's a bit better 
Now, a company sent me this to try out and I'm gonna be honest, I didn't have high hopes for it. Let me turn you up a little bit. Because I've had a couple of these before and they're not been very good. Now, is it a, like a, a Dyson? No. But if you cannot afford one of those cordless Dysons and you want a little vacuum to just quickly pick up some crumbs or anything like that, this is a wet and dry vacuum. So I was really, really impressed. Look, it comes with a little bag that you can put the vacuum and the accessories in. And then accessory wise has three different attachments. Oh, four, sorry. Four different attachments and the charger. So it's ideal for the car, but actually, it is now known in this house as Alex's vacuum. Alex does not like really loud noises, so whenever I vacuum, he gets out of the room. The Dyson is too loud for him, but this one, it's not that loud. I don't know if you can tell, but it is a fairly quiet vacuum, and he uses it to pick up his own crumbs. As you saw me do, there in the uh, on the sofa he has his his cereal on the sofa and always makes a mess so today i didn't make him do it because we were running late for school but i thought what a fantastic way for him to clean after himself and it's super light i thought of as well as of my mother-in-law who suffers with rheumatoid arthritis so light things are a lot better for her so yeah i'm really pleased with this there is a link for it below as well as a discount code for you guys if you're interested. we got the Google Mini it was on offer it still is I think I'll link it for you guys below I bought it directly from Google it was 25 24 pounds okay Google tell me a joke here we go what's a pirate's favorite letter you think it was R but the first love was the C <laughs> that is some bad jokes I'm really enjoying having it, especially in the kitchen. Um, Paul really got it for me. So when I'm in here, I can do things like how much is 100 grams of sugar in cups or, you know, like it's easy access. I can listen to the news, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, so I'm really pleased with that. Again, I'll link it below. And while I'm in the kitchen, I must show you this cup I got for Alex. Let me put you on back on the tripod. But first, there's someone here that wants to say hello. Ethel, what are you doing? Getting in the way. <laughs> I apologize in advance if you hear it in the background. You guys know what she's like by now. So let me show you. This is the cup that I'm talking about. Well, this is part of it. It's a Con Contigo cup, okay, and it comes apart really easily okay so it's easy to clean you basically just oh, 
I feel like I've got bugs all over me. All the, the thrips, do you guys know? If you're not in the UK, I don't know what you call it. They're like tiny little black bugs. They're all out at the moment. Right, so. I don't know why I'm taking so long. So it just slides in like that. And then you slide it at the bottom there. That's it ready to go. So the awesome bit about it is that it has a snack area right there. So you can put snacks in like whatever your kid likes. Alex, usually I dice a little cereal bar and put it in there so he can snack on it during the morning. I got him a pack of two. I got them from Amazon, I'll link them below. And basically I got them because a friend of his had it and I just thought that was a really great idea. It just closes like that, really secure. And then you can, sorry. So you twist it with the water and then you close it. There you go. I'll link it below. If you have a child or a grandchild or even a friend of a friend who has a child, it's a really good, really good cup. Like I said, we have two. I'm just going to leave it to air dry there. Now that the house is sort of sorted, I've got a couple of errands to run. I've got to return this contact paper. I actually bought it to do the bottom of the fireplace, but because of the way the fireplace is shaped, it wouldn't have worked. Also, it's quite short, so I'm going to return it to Amazon. And I've printed off the label, so I just need to repackage it and send it back. And then afterwards, I'm going to go to the local thrift shop, which is open today. And I have a bag to take. It's nothing interesting. It's just like ice cube holders, you know, just bits and bobs from the house. And um, it will give me a chance to have a little nose around. Okay, I'm ready to go. I've got my keys. I'll see you guys in a little bit. I'm back and it was a bit of a fail. Well, you know, I got the post office done and I went to the thrift shop. Usually I can get loads of little goodies, but today only thing I got was some trouser hangers. These are quite expensive. I paid a pound. There's four in them uh, and I needed some more. That's what I used to hang Paul and Alex's trousers. So yeah, that was the only thing. I think it's coffee time. So while I'm having my coffee, I thought I would have a little chat to you guys about creating suspense, um, about home decor and about my artwork. One of you, Kate, asked me if I would talk about who my favorite artists are or if Paul has the same taste in art and home decor as me. And I thought about making a video, but I'm not sure how to put that together. So I thought I would just have a quick chat about it. Now, I do not have a favorite, a favorite artist. Neither does Paul, I don't think. Um, but our tastes are very, very different. Paul has a more traditional, traditional style if you think I'm sure that everyone that's here follows Hillary from Old World Home I find it really hard to say the name like that but um, so he loves that style of artwork that she has the more old-fashioned in my eyes it's old-fashioned and I'm sure it's because his parents and his family have quite a lot of that kind of artwork so it, it influenced him he likes pictures with boats and you know, like ships, that kind of hand-painted ships. It's hard to explain. And planes and all that kind of more traditional kind of artwork. I really don't like that kind of artwork. I really, really don't. Something about it makes me feel old. I don't know. It's not my thing. I can appreciate that it's beautiful. You know, when I think of Hillary's home, she has a beautiful home. I'm not taking away from that. My taste is more modern, as you guys can see in the background there. And I also, one of my main go-tos for instant cheap artwork is postcards. A lot of the pictures you see there are postcards. 
um, and it's a quick way to update something and the other thing that's really important and I, I spoke to Paul about this and he said you must tell them this is that most of the artwork I have in my house has some sort of meaning to us even if they are postcards let me show you some examples so that's a postcard from Norfolk as you can see we used to live in Norfolk we lived there twice at Marham so I found a postcard that was modern and there you go this one is of St Ives we used to live at Witten so there's a, a more modern take of the town this one's at Hitching. We used to live at Chicksand, so this was our favourite town nearby. Can we just talk about, can you see these black bugs? This is what I was talking about earlier. When summer's over, I'm going to have to open all these frames and clean them all out. That one is not a postcard, but that's St George's Market in Northern Ireland, Belfast. That's also Northern Ireland. This one is a postcard. And I got it whilst I was, sorry, I'm shaking quite a lot, whilst I was in Northern Ireland. And I don't think there's any postcard more fitting than this one. Because if you don't know what I'm getting at, it rains a lot. Like, a lot. So, that's how I choose my artwork. This one I bought, it's not a postcard, I bought it a few years back. I was in Northern Ireland actually when I bought it, but I just loved it. The look of it and um, there's some more that is Carrica Reed bridge made with like little stones Paul made that one there so yeah this is how that is how I choose most of our artwork I buy stuff that means something to me I do buy things that are don't mean anything to me you know like this this little hanging thing it hasn't got a special meaning, I just like it, I do do that. I also have, this breaks the mould a little bit, so you can see. It's not modern, but I love the colours. And it does actually have a really special meaning to me, because when I was growing up, we used to have a lot of exchange students from different countries stay with our family. So, um, the very first girl that stayed with us was from Luxembourg and she brought over with her a set of prints, that one included. I have all the other ones and they just sat in a drawer for so many years, forever, like my parents never put them up. So, a few years back when I went home, I asked my dad if I could have them and he gave them all to me. So, at the moment, I've only got that one out i thought it's perfect because i have a lot of blue going on in the lounge but i do actually have i think it's like 10 of those prints we have an insane amount of artwork and i refer to it as artwork loosely you know because it's not like oh you know limited edition prints or originals or things like that when i'm talking about artwork i mean pictures to hang on the wall insane amount we have loads of stuff in the loft we have loads of stuff under our bed under Alex's bed yeah we have so so much and Paul has a lot because he used to, before we had Alex he used to have like his own office you know like with all his bookcases books desks all of that and he was very much a gentleman's office if you know what I mean dark wood and old prints and all things like that so he still has all of those and we hang on to them in the hope that one day when we have our own house he can have that again now when it comes to home decor Paul doesn't care you know he really I would never I might ask him for his opinion but if I decide, oh, do you know what? I'm going to change everything to blue. I would just do it. And I know he would love it. Once he's, I put it together. So he does like my style and the way I decor, decorate the house. But he doesn't really care enough to get involved. I would never be like, oh, I'm thinking of changing 
a pillow, you know, a throw pillow. What do you think? He does not care. He actually gets really annoyed if I asked him because also I will ask him, which one do you think? This one or the yellow one? And nine times out of 10, if he goes, oh, the yellow one, I'll end up going, oh, I think I like this one better. Do you, do any of you do that? So he does not care how I decorate the house. There's things that once they're done, he he appreciates them and he's like, oh, I really like that. There's other things where he's like, mm, I don't like that. But yeah, so we don't, he doesn't care. So I just do, that's my, this is my thing. This is what I enjoy doing. So yeah, he doesn't care. But I wanted to show you something else. I often talk about the fact that I really like um, Scandinavian slash mid-century modern and it all stems from a magazine. I used to buy loads of home magazines, I don't bother now because you can just go on Pinterest and things like that to get inspiration. But I fell in love with this one house, this home. Let me see if I can tell you who it is. Um, oh, it's from someone in the Netherlands, okay? That's, that says a lot. I fell in love with it so much that I ripped it out and I often look at it. It's dated of February 2012. And this changed the way I decorate my house and the way and what I like. When I saw this house, this is what made me like, this is me. This is where I want my home to be. And uh, hopefully you'll see a lot of influence. It's not exactly the same, of course, but just have to show you, first of all, this is where I got the idea for the printer's tray, which I have above my fireplace, right? So I've had that for seven years because I bought it within a month of sort of looking at this. And they, I mean, it is just gorgeous, the one they have. Um, but yeah, another thing, they, they have like a dresser. And that one there is kind of the same period. It's not exactly the same by any means, but I just fell in love with their home. My goodness, I loved it so much. I mean, they have, it's such a beautiful and colorful home. Just want to try and show you some of the details. Um, And I see a lot of, looking back at this, I still see a lot of influence. They have beautiful, colourful cushions. Um, that's the same page. Look at that, that dresser. And look at the, I love the kitchen and like dining room area. I'm hoping you guys can see this okay. But loads of like Scandinavian inspired um, tinware. I don't even know what to call it. And also like the type of Pyrex dishes, if you see up there. I hope you can see it. So yeah, this was a huge inspiration for me. Look at the bedrooms. And it's not, my home is not exactly the same. But seeing that inspired me and I developed my own style from it if that makes sense anyway I've rambled on for like 10 minutes or so I think I'm going to end this vlog here it's a bit of a quick vlog it's 11 o'clock in the morning and I'm done I'm done with my tasks I am going to have coffee edit this video reply to some of your comments and then it will be lunchtime Thank you so much for spending this time with me. I hope you have enjoyed it. Bye for now.